Hey, we can help. We'll just put this rock climbing wall off till tomorrow. Wait, what? No! You guys keep working. I'll narrate the audiobook. You stay here and help the boys. And not only will I finish recording your book today, I'll do it by 4 o'clock. So, let me get this straight. You'll do all the work while I spend the day with Phineas? Hmm, deal. But do you know anyone that can work a state-of-the-art soundboard? Someone who can edit huge digital files? Someone who can understand basic miking techniques? What is it, Irving? Okay, I'll do it. But only if Isabella says, where's Perry? No deal. You drive a hard bargain. I'm in. It's okay. I was about to ask that anyway. Bye. And put your cans on. Fireside Girls Compendium, introduction, page one, and take one whenever you're ready. Mame me mamu, Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, Kansas. Man, this is the worst book dedication ever. How are we doing in there, Irving? Levels are fine. <sighs> Page one. Welcome, Fireside Girl. You're about to embark on a transformative journey that you will remember for years to come. And water should be boiling. Now on to part two of the introduction. Section 12, part six. How to start a fire using only bobby pins and a hat. Section 25, part 16. Uh, how to tell if a marshmallow is properly roasted. <clears throat> Can I get you some water? Maybe. Oh, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Beginning section 25, part 7. Conclusion. May your fireside girl experience be a treasured one with memories for a lifetime. The end. Uh, I'd like you to do one more take on that last chapter. I'd like to hurt you. That's a wrap. Yes, it's still here. Hey, Candace. How'd it go? I finished recording. Irving's uploading it to the fireside girl mainframe as we speak. Thanks so much, Candace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the important thing, to get Mom out here. Mom! Mom! Do you want me to get Mom? Ugh, no, you stay here. Nobody move. If we leave, this thing will disappear. She'll be out here in two minutes with her bird watching group. Oh, wait. Some tea with honey would help that through. And there's crumpets in the conservatory as well. He's so British. <laughs> Maya, are you sure you're gonna be all right? We'll be fine. I know your grandpa's gonna come back satisfied. Just leave everything to me, Kota. Girl, we're weighing anchor. Hurry up and take your post. Okay. Well then, I'll see you later. We'll see you soon. After all these years, I took my revenge on the sea devil. That's great, Grandpa. So at long last, my life as a fisherman is over. Huh? Thank you so much, Maya. Ah, oh, she's crying for me. Well, that little lady might be the world's most terrible navigator, but she's a good girl after all, right? She sure is. Huh? 